Google Trends reveals a skyrocketing demand for video mock-up templates, making them one of the fastest growing trends on Etsy. But surprisingly, only a handful of sellers are cashing in. In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to create scroll-stopping video mock-up templates that can turn into your next passive income stream. First, here's what you'll need. Static images of a wall art interior, Adobe Photoshop, a little patience to follow my instructions. First, open Photoshop and click on New File. Then select Art and Illustration. There are already pre-made templates available. The best aspect ratio for an Etsy listing is one by one, uh, which is a square. We have two options, a 1000 pixel grid or a 2000 pixel grid. Let's choose the 2000 pixel grid for better quality in our video mockup. Change the resolution to 72, then click Create. Now import your rendered images. I'll pick three, but you can import more depending on how many scenes you want to create. Now go to Window and click on Timeline. This opens the interface where you'll add animations and keyframes. This is where the magic happens. Click on Create Video Timeline. You'll see the three images you added automatically appear on the timeline. For organization, rename these images as Scene 1, Scene 2, and Scene 3. Use the slider to control how long the scenes appear on the screen. To make all scenes visible, arrange them so they don't overlap each other. When you move the slider, you should now see each scene. Let's bring the scenes to life with some movement. Click the drop down arrow beside the scene. Click the stopwatch icon to toggle on and add an animation keyframe for transform. For scene one, I'll create a slow zoom out and panning effect. Press Ctrl plus T to activate the transform tool. Scale the image up for the zoom out effect and drag it sideways for the panning effect. Click the check mark above to confirm. A small dot known as keyframe will appear below the scene, marking the motion's start. Move to the end of the clip. Activate transform again and adjust the image to your desired end position. Let me slide it sideways until the frame is centered for panning and I will also reduce its size slightly for the zoom out effect. To straighten the perspective, right click and select distort. Adjust the image, then click OK. Now, preview the scene to ensure the motion looks smooth. For scene two, I'll create a smooth zoom in effect. Set the slider at the beginning of the scene, toggle on the stopwatch for transform, scale the image slightly, and center it. Uh, this creates a morph effect so that scene 2 looks like it's continuing from scene 1. Uh, at the end of the scene, scale the image up further so only the frame is visible. Preview to ensure it transitions smoothly. For scene 3, I'll add a smooth panning effect. At the start, scale up the image and drag it to one side. At the end, drag it to the opposite side or until the mock-up looks visible enough. Adjust as needed for the desired animation. Preview to ensure it transitions smoothly. The transitions between scenes currently look very sharp. Oh, let's fix that by adding a fade transition effect. Add a solid color adjustment layer and choose a black color. Turn off this layer temporarily and group all the scenes into a folder and name it. Um, I will name this scenes. Place the color adjustment layer between two scenes and reduce its length. Center it between the scenes. Toggle on the stopwatch for opacity. Set the opacity to 100% at the center of the adjustment layer. Set the opacity to 0% at both ends.
Repeat for all other transitions between the scenes. Now let's see the result. What we just made is an animation, just a flat video, not yet a template, because you can't add your designs to it yet as there's no smart object to place your designs on. Um, so we are going to create one. Uh, you can achieve that either by creating a smart object or just drag and drop a uh, pre-made placeholder. Uh, the best way to make sure all the frames in each scenes have equal dimensions is to use an already made placeholder. Well, for the placeholder, I, I link it in the description below. Um, you can do well to download it. To import the placeholder into your project, drag it above the first scene, increase its size slightly, and position it over the mock-up frame. Since we have three scenes, import three placeholders, one for each scene. Rename them to Design 1, Design 2, and Design 3. For Design 1, zoom in to see the frame corners clearly. Activate Transform, right-click, and select Distort. Pin each corner of the placeholder to the frame on the wall. At the end of the animation, adjust the placeholder to fit the current frame. Add additional keyframes as needed for smooth transitions. Change the blend mode to multiply to blend it naturally with the background. Repeat for the second and third scenes. Finally, add designs to the placeholders by double-clicking their thumbnails, inserting your images, saving and closing. Let's preview the scenes to see. To export, go to File, then click on Render Video. Set the framework to 25 or 27 and leave the other settings as they are. Click Render. Now, you're done creating the video mockups. Remember to remove the designs you added and save the file as a Photoshop document so you can upload on creative sites like Etsy or Creative Market. Here's the final result. A polished video mockup that's ready to help sellers showcase their products and boost sales. You've seen how to create video templates in this tutorial, but here's the thing. You're still missing some critical pieces. For example, how do you create multiple angles of an interior room to make your mockups truly stand out? What's the secret to mastering keyframe concepts for smoother, more professional animations? These are just a few of the topics I couldn't include in this video due to time limitations. That's why I'm creating an in-depth course to cover all of this and more, giving you the tools to fully master video mockup creation. It's now available for pre-order at a special discounted price. If you want to take your skills to the next level, don't miss this opportunity. Click the link below to pre-order and save your spot. Don't wait for this trend to get saturated. Start creating your own video mockups now and get ahead of the curve.